Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to replace the sky in your photos using Affinity Photo. Whether you want to add dramatic clouds or a clear blue sky, this tutorial will guide you through the process step by step. So, let's get started. First, we will select our subject. Before that, I will create a duplicate and rename it to copy and hide the original. Using the selection tool, we will select our subject. Then, I will refine the hair of the subject. Click on Apply after refining. Next, we will isolate our subject from the background. Press Ctrl plus J to create a duplicate layer of our subject selection. Then hide this copy layer and press Ctrl plus D to deselect the subject. Next, create an empty pixel layer. Before proceeding further, I will rename this isolated subject layer to Subject. Next, place the empty pixel layer under the subject layer. Fill this empty pixel layer with white color by going to Edit and clicking on Fill with Primary Color. Next, we will generate our sky texture using Live Filters. Open the Live Filters menu and click on Live Procedural Texture. In the Live Procedural Texture tab, there are many presets to create textures using mathematical equations. To create a sky, we need one of the presets under the Noise section. I will choose Thin Clouds. You will get this black background with a white smoke-like image in the background. Using this brightness slider, change the smoke brightness. If you are a math nerd, you can also tinker with this equation to get different types of smoke. Then, click on this Preserve Alpha checkbox and close the tab. Drag this live filter out of the pixel layer and place it under the subject. Next, we will add some color to this texture to mimic the sky. To achieve this, we will add a gradient map adjustment just above the texture. In the gradient map, we will change the colors from red, green, and blue to light blue, white, and light gray, respectively. Then, I will position this middle white color near the light gray color and add a very light yellow color after the blue color to make my sky look more beautiful. Next, I will create a sun in this corner. First, I will create an empty pixel layer. Then, I will fill it with a black and white gradient. Change the gradient type to elliptical. Then, I will change the blending mode of this gradient layer to screen. I will move the center to here and decrease the opacity a little. You can also edit your sky anytime using the procedural live texture and can create very beautiful sky backgrounds using other noise presets. And that's how you can easily replace sky backgrounds in any image using Affinity Photo. That's it for this video. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel for more helpful tutorials and tips. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.